Hello guys, my name is Amy Nguyen and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be do a review for the new Tarte face tape. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to see. Yeah, I've been dying to do a makeup tutorial because I've been working like, I don't know, 50, 60 hour weeks and just staring at the computer all day and literally like not getting ready, not leaving my house, not leaving my bed. So yeah. Today we're trying out that Shape Tape, Face Tape, the new Tarte Foundation. Um, I actually have not seen a lot of reviews on this, so hopefully I'm one of the first people to do it. But I'm really excited to try this. Um, I've tried the other Shape Tape before, the actual like Shape Tape Foundation, where they have like the hydrating one and then the matte one, and they were like total duds. Um, yeah, they were just like way too yellow after um, they oxidize and then my face just like looked like an oompa loompa but hopefully this has a better formula that it actually mimics the shape tape and it says that it will be hydrating too so I only got this in one shade I got it in a 27S which is a light medium sand I honestly just took a guess at my shade and I don't even know this is correct but if it's not we're just gonna little bit because it's the only bottle I have so yeah Let's get some, let's get some moisturizer on. Today I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Moisturizer. So I just apply this all over my face. I should probably put on my cat ears since it's a makeup tutorial. And I always have my cat ears on when I'm doing my makeup. Okay. And then next I'm just gonna go in with a primer. Um, today I'm going to use the Urban Decay um, Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I'm almost actually out of this too, so I need to get a new one. And I really just want to use like, all the products I would normally use in my makeup routine to give this foundation a really fair shot. You know, honest review. I don't want to like use a bunch of new products and then my face ends up not looking right and then blaming it on the Shape Tape Foundation, but really it's just a bunch of other products. I'm just applying this onto my face. Sweeping it over my cheeks. And now that we have my primer on, first impressions, I've actually never taken it out of the box before. So this is what it looks like. It actually mimics um, like the Shape Tape Concealer. So here is the Shape Tape Concealer, and now the new foundation, the Face Tape, actually mimics it. So it looks like a giant version of the concealer, which I think is really cute. And I think it's like what most people were hoping for initially when people were asking for a Shape Tape foundation. So finally, they're doing it right. I'm just gonna give it a shake. And today I think I'm gonna um, apply my foundation with a handy dandy beauty blender. So yeah, what I like to do is squeeze the foundation directly onto the beauty blender. So use a little bit. The consistency so far is really similar to the Shape Tape Concealer. It's not too watery. It's kind of thick. Uh, so I'm just going to pat it on. Ooh. She's thick. Oh, this really looks like the Shape Tape Concealer. So far, it's going on super nice. It's super covering. Or it's super, has, it has kind of trying to say I can't English and so far the shade looks pretty good I think this is a good match for my skin if it's not too bad I only have one color but so far it looks really good it matches my neck really well um, my face is always like super pale compared to my neck because I don't like tanning my face don't want to get those premature wrinkles <clears throat> So I just add a little more foundation onto my beauty blender and blank it out on the other cheek. This is looking really good so far. Look at that. Gonna, oh, cool. I'm good. I didn't get it on myself. Just gonna blend it out. I'm really digging this coverage. I love a good full coverage foundation that's not too heavy. And this is what it looks like right now. It's not like extremely thick, but it does its job. And it has a really nice matte, kind of like a nice matte finish. And it 
it's supposed to have a flawless natural matte finish so yeah I'd say that it's doing its job pretty nice or pretty well I should say so so far it's doing everything that it claims it's blending out really nicely too it's not it doesn't feel extremely heavy either this is really nice Wow, I really look like a plain canvas. It really covered everything, guys. Just getting it into my nose creases. I have cat hair on my face. It's kind of inevi inevitable when you have two cats, you just have cat hair literally everywhere. Okay, and to give this a fair review, I always um, highlight my face with a lighter concealer, so I'm gonna do that as well. And let's see. And I think I'm actually just gonna use the Tarte concealer as well. I'm just gonna try to go in with like a really thin layer since I don't want it to look too cakey. Let's see. Okay, that's like barely any lighter, but I think this is the lightest I have. I'm also like running low on this too. Okay. Let's just blend that out. And the concealer I use, wait. Okay, it's light medium honey and the foundation's light medium sand. Okay. Still looking good. I just keep finding cat hairs all over my face. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with a uh, cream concealer today um, using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, this is what I always use. Um, I'm actually gonna use the shade Toast. And what I like to do is just squeeze it onto the brush tip and then draw it down on my face. I always like to draw a little higher than my contour actual line too, so that when I blend, uh, I oftentimes blend downwards so it won't get too low. And this foundation is looking super good so far. It's blending super well with this um, cream contour as well. And yeah, that's my look for today. Just a really fun turquoise eyes look. With just a really nude lip so that my eyes can pop. Of course, we got a set so we can see how this foundation sets. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my favorite setting spray. But yeah, I'll show you guys the close up of the foundation. Can you focus? Focus. So everything looks super good. It's super. It's like matte, but also still a little luminous as well. So it does give you a flawless, like natural finish. Everything looks super smooth. I'm trying to make this a little darker. It's holding out really well. Um, I sprayed setting spray on it as well. So we just gotta wait and see how it does. Um, I'll probably give you guys an update um, in a couple hours and another one at the end of the night to see how it holds up. But it says full coverage, flawless natural matte finish, and infinite likes. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. So it is now, let's see, five, six hours after I've had the foundation on. Um, went to the movies and now it's like midnight and we just got back. And this foundation's holding up pretty well still. You can see some spots where it's just kind of like creasing towards like my nose area and use kind of like, I don't know. Like overall, I feel it looks good, but if you look close, of course it's gonna still look like it's makeup sitting on my face for seven, six hours. Overall, I'd say this foundation is pretty good. It holds up pretty well. Um, but yeah, I'd say that this foundation held up pretty well. Um, it's definitely doing a lot better than most of my other foundations at this point. If I was wearing my 
infallible pro glow or pro matte at this point it probably starts slipping off my face a little but yeah overall this is still pretty intact so yeah yeah five stars well Banksy what's it